Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kirk Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. Alright, taking a look at pound US dollar in this week's video, and you know, it's, it's really at a crossroads at this point, in, in my opinion. We've had this sideways movement right, going back into the early part of this year. We had this strong move up. Well, relatively speaking, we had a, a bullish move up in April and, and towards the beginning of May where we then spiked lower, right, shot up, came right back in, found some support, rallied back to retest that prior high. And at this point now, you know, we've come back to support where it tried to move up, but created a lower high. And now we've made a lower low breaking under this support. So that tells us the supply has increased. You can see that we're, we're below these moving averages here now. <clears throat> and we are reacting off of a little bit of support here to the left, which is normal. That's That's to be expected. But where I feel this is at a crossroads is in... Um, whether or not we hold this area if this support gets violated and broken then i think we're going significantly lower i mean this prior low from from late february i i wouldn't even worry about if we break this support we're going to go through that like it's not even there so this is the key area to hold and as we start this week you can see that we are holding it at at this point but you know that's just a normal reaction off of support following multiple days down so we very well may see a bit of a bounce here first thing this week uh, we do also have the FOMC announcement later this week which could certainly change the game a bit but that's why again like I said we're really at a crossroads here so uh, to the downside and we break through this significantly lower now why would I say that well if you look at the weekly chart you can see here that we we did have that move up we double topped here and if again we break this support area then we're having a weekly double top following through towards this prior low and and just resuming or continuing what has been an overall weak trend going back you know shoot since it started i mean you could the downtrend really started probably you know mid to late 2014 and while we've had some more significant rallies, as you can see here in 2015, there was a pretty decent rally, but we've been staying weak since 2014. And uh, it seems like that trend is going to continue. And if we just zoom out one more time frame to the monthly, you can see here that it, uh, it really is pretty bearish overall big picture here on pound US dollar. So uh, this is actually on the monthly chart. It, it actually set up and triggered a pattern that I teach in my Forex training course. So, uh, again, the expectation is that we will continue to move not just lower to the prior low, but in, in terms of the bigger picture, significantly lower below this prior low, back down to test these uh, 2008 lows and possibly even lower. So... Definitely a bearish outlook here, but I mean, back to the daily chart, we've got to deal with what's in front of us first. And right now, that is this area. And again, as I said, might not be today or, or even this week that we really start to get the follow through lower, but we have to create a plan. We have to have this, this approach so that we've got the right mindset. Uh, and with that in mind, any rally up into resistance, I'm going to be looking to short. Uh, and in fact, any sideways consolidation that shows an inability to move higher, I'm going to look to short a breakdown there as well. So keep your eyes peeled for weakness in pound US dollar. If you have any questions, you can always comment in the comments below or uh, send me an email directly, Kurt at pristine.com. I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, otherwise, have a great trading week and we'll talk again soon.